They are highly trained and possess the skills, stamina, and spirit to get the job done. They are the right men for a tough job. When duty calls, they put everything on the line for God, country, and people. The Scout Ranger is one of the elite units under the Philippine Army. The smallest unit of Scout Ranger is composed of seven highly skilled soldiers that are capable of executing difficult missions. They are specialized in conducting raids, ambushcades, reconnaissance patrols, and other direct offensive actions. The Scout Ranger team members work on three principles. Versatility through specialization, mutual support through the body system, and synchronization through efficient maneuvers. Scout Rangers close in on the enemy, strike swiftly, and operate on the principle of life and death. Life for the Scout Ranger and death to the enemy. Because in combat, the only option is to defeat the enemy. Ladies and gentlemen, the core of the Scout Ranger unit, the Scout Ranger team, the lead scout. He is the eyes and ears of the team. He is proficient in combat tracking. His main function and responsibility is front security. His trigger finger is steady and sure and his senses are keenly developed. He is equipped with night vision goggles. He is armed with R4 carbine. His body is the guide. The guide. He is the pathfinder and navigator of the team. He is proficient in land navigation and terrain analysis. He is equipped with a map, compass, binoculars, repelling rope. He is armed with R4 carbine, with M203 attached. His body is the lead scout, the team leader. He is responsible for whatever the team does or fails to do. He is the focal point around which the team is organized. In all aspects, he excels over his men. He is equipped with a map, compass, binoculars, GPS. He is armed with R4 carbine. His body is everybody within the team. Radio man. He takes charge of all communication requirements of the team. He is the link between the team and the command and control center. He is equipped with handheld radio, flashlight, smoke grenade. He is armed with R4 carbine. His body is the automatic rifleman. And the automatic rifleman. He is the weapons expert of the team. His main function and responsibility is to provide sustained fire support for the team. He is equipped with weapons maintenance kit. He is armed with K3 squad automatic weapon. His body is the radio man, the contact man. He is the intelligence agent and demolitionist of the team. He is knowledgeable with the dialect of the area in which the team operates. He is also the designated marksman. He is equipped with a pair of civilian clothes, camera, knife. Demolition set. He is armed with SDMR. His body is the tail scout. The tail scout. He is the medical aidman of the team. His main function and responsibility is the rear security. He erases the tracks of the team. He is the last to advance and last to withdraw. He is equipped with a medical kit. He is armed with R4 carbine. His body is the contact man. 
Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the Scout Ranger team. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will witness the gallery shooting and demonstration of confidence firing of the Scout Ranger body. This is part of Scout Ranger training. The operator has to shoot two water bags at both ends of a short stick, held by his buddy, which is known as Rizal. Confidence firing is a good measure of trust. It is a test of confidence in one's capability. As a scout ranger qualified, he must be an expert in every endeavor, especially in weapons handling.